Guys, I was thinking of recording the intro of this, like, in a standard, like, outdoor area with nice lighting. But then I realized, well, why don't I just do it right next to my lovely bees right here, and hope they don't sting me. Which, it's pretty likely they will, because they're pretty grumpy today, because it's windy. Anyway, I say get straight to the video. Except, if you're watching this video for educational purposes on how to do a mite test, don't watch this video. It will not help you because I do the mite test improperly. Okay, now that that's done, let's start. Okay, now we're gonna add the second box on. Um, so, not all the frames are filled, but this is an 8 frame hive. So, um, like, if there's like two or about that much. You should usually remove it. And so we, had, because they were building up, um, I decided to add more space because they were basically done. And what I'm gonna do here, hey girls, I'm gonna remove this bar comb incoming hive tool. Get out of the way! Oh shoot! We didn't get angered. Oh, angered the bees. Don't anger the bees. Um, that one. And that all there is burkum. Oh yeah, I'm piling the burkum up there. I should put it in a bucket. But just in case, like, they put pollen and stuff there, they can come take it out, put it back in the hive. Then there's no pollen in it. I can melt it down and use stuff right here. So today, we're going to be testing for mice. Right now, I'm opening up frames to so find which ones have a lot of uh, eggs in them. Because that means there's um, nurse bees, which are bees that were just born. And those bees typically have the most mites. So you want to sample those types of bees. Okay, so I've mastered the technique of capturing bees. Not really, actually. So you scrape down. Don't scrape up. Now we're just putting all of these um, frames back into place after the hive inspection. I don't want to crush that bee. Um, and then we're going to test for mites with a powdered sugar shake test. It might be good or it might be bad. Yep. Okay, so right now I'm going to put powdered sugar in, but it needs to be stacked. I'm sure if a few bees escape. But, um, and then, they're gonna be mad at this, and you may be like, Cookie, that's cruel, and it, 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 yeah, fair. The thing is, I could do this or an alcohol wash, and if we don't do this, they could be killed by, um, mites, and that would be way worse, because they'd all die. They won't die from this, it's just gonna be a bit unpleasant. So right now we're gonna shake these bees around, and we're gonna... I hate doing this. We're gonna shake them and wait for mites to come out. Is there any possible way we might not see mites? If there's no mites, then we will not see any mites. Or if I made some pretty stupid mistakes when testing, which I definitely Okay, did. now we're just gonna put them back in the hive. Oh no! No! That's so All sad. the bees? I thought they'd go on a lot smoother. All the bees are in the hive. Yeah. So we saw what looked like to be a mite in there, but it wasn't a varroa mite, if anything. So that means either A, we had too small of a sample size, B, there's just very little mites, or um, C, I did not do the test properly. Um, so only one of those is good, but let's just hope it's that. Um, and I'm going to do more research on this to see if I did the test properly and all that stuff. FYI, I didn't. Okay, so we're going to check up on these supers. Um, or this individual super. I put it on there, uh, about a week ago. So by this time, it'll be two weeks ago by the time the video is uploaded. Um, I'm probably going to smoke them. I took a sneak peek at them earlier. I saw 
they definitely don't have any honey because the comb isn't fully grown out yet. I'm just trying to make sure no bee is going to get in my veil because I don't want a bee sting in the face. And I recently, and oh, first of all, I want to mention that they're using a lot, a lot of propolis. Okay, I'm going to use a half tool to get in there better. Oh, oh they're not as much as I thought. Um, so, if there's not too much building going on, I'm probably going to remove the clean excluder. Um, we probably won't have to worry about them getting mad. I mean, to be honest, I'm probably gonna... No queen? No queen. Yeah, no queen. So what I'm gonna do... Uh, I'm gonna just get that queen excluder off. I'm gonna have to do a lot of chiseling away. So you can get back to me in a bit, cameraman. Okay. So, the super's loosened for the most part. I'm about to take it off. Well, I'm probably doing something wrong here. And so the queen excluder is going to be harder because I'm pretty sure there's comb on it. So I'm going to just put that box right there. And ooh. These bees are about to get so shook, literally, because I'm going to shake them off. Oof. Okay, so first of all, Hive is going a bit too strong for my liking. Uh, damn, that's a lot of bridge comb. Okay, I mean... I really should deal with this, but it's kind of a pain to be honest, because there's so much of it. Um, I may extract some of the propolis off that later. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. I hope I don't crush him. Come on, girl. Okay. To your right. But can I lower it? Yeah, I think you can. You might want to move it a little to your right. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot, propolis. There you go. Didn't crush any? I don't think so. Nothing real obvious. Um, okay. I'm gonna go space out the frames. And that's gonna be about it for this video. Um, so, you know what they say... If you don't know what they're doing, you say, let it be. So I'm gonna let this sit for a week, see how much they build on here. Hopefully more, cause with the queen excluder on, they built a shameful now. Um, and so anyway, the next video will probably be honey harvest. So until then, I'll see you next time.